Hello, and welcome to the SAP Business One Overview Demo. Today, we're going to be looking at CRM sales orders. Now, CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management, but in many companies, CRM or Customer Relationship Management can mean different things. Here within Business One, how I like to look at it is this is the overall view, overall health of my customers, what's happening with my customers. We can see here under CRM, I have activities, campaigns, opportunities, sales quotations, sales orders, lots of reports, and I have many videos in this series that goes over each one of these sections, but today we're going to be looking at sales orders. Now let's go from the very top level here of looking at a blank sales order. So I can go into either clicking sales order here, or as you can see over here on my dashboard, I do have the sales order icon and I could click it from there. But because we're talking about CRM, I'm going to go into a blank sales order that I have within the system. Now, as we see here, it takes me to a blank screen and it's very simple and easy for me to create a new one, which I'm going to do in just a moment. But let's go look at a previous one that I have created here, just so that we get an idea of what's taking place within this uh, sales order. I can see up here on the left hand side, I have my customer information. I also have my contact person and that contact person came over from my customer master business partner data. And there is another video in this series that goes over the business partner master data. So go and take a look at that. Then we can see down here that I've added in items. I've added in quantities. The unit prices are automatically picking up based on the price lists that I have within the system. I can also see how many are in stock. And that's a really nice visible cue to the sales folks to be able to see if I'm ordering this, do I have enough in stock or do I have to contact the purchasing department or the production department, depending upon whether it's an internal purchase or an internal create and make some more for me. I also have tax information. Under the logistics and accounting, I can see the ship to and bill to of where this is going to go. I also have other fields over here that'll show you if this needs to be approved, if it allows a parcel delivery and so forth. Down here at the bottom, I can see totals. I can see if there's any discounts, freight associated with it, tax, and then my full total amount. Now here under the accounting tab, I can see how this is going to be uh, accounted for and what type of requirements are associated with this. And if I feel they're putting attachments almost anywhere in business one, I can add attachments into the system. Now we can see down here, going back to my contents tab, that this sales order is based on a sales quotation that's in the system. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that I can create a sales order. Let's get out of here and let's go into the last sales order that I just created. So put that here. We can see that this is an open sales order. So look down here on the right hand side. I can copy to a sales order. How convenient is that? It now brings me over to my sales order screen. Up here on the right hand side, I'm going to put in a delivery date. I'd like this to be delivered. We're going to say 5-5-19. And it's going to add that date into the system as this needs to be shipped out and delivered to the customer by May 5th. We can see here then that all of that data came over from my sales quotation. Here we see it's based on my sales quotation 646 and I'm going to add that on into the system. It's as simple and easy as that. Now as we go over and see uh, any type of messages and alerts that come up, we can see that because I added in this sales uh, order from my quotation, it has gone above my deviation of my commitment limit. And that's great because now this advises me that I have to possibly talk with my finance department. So we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to go to the last one. And I'm going to show you here by right clicking and going down to my relationship map. Now I'm starting to build the relationship here of my sales quotation over to my sales order. I can also create a sales order from scratch just by going over here, creating a blank sales order, adding in my customer, adding in my items and going through that same process. Very easy and very simple to add in a new sales order. So thank you so much for listening today to the SAP Business One Sales Order Overview. <music>